What's up guys? Jake here. Friday, 21st of August. And funnily enough, that's actually my cousin's birthday. God, I'm slack. That's what you get for moving away from your whole family when you're 19 and they don't care about my birthday, so fuck them. <laughs> nah, it's always good to see cousins and um, aunties and uncles and grandparents and all of that. And actually, funnily enough, I'm going back to New Zealand in two weeks' time for my dad's 60th birthday, which I can't wait for because he's a crazy cunt and he's going to put on a wicked party. And um, so, yeah, that will be coming in the next two weeks. But uh, for now, we're on comp prep, of course. Welcome to the fifth, I think, episode of In the well, Day in the Life. Jacob McDonald um, and thanks for joining me so today is Friday I've got the day off work and um, I'm gonna go first of all to the gym as always fasted got a cu coffee this morning um, no pre-workout because I actually don't have any so um, after I finish my workout I'm gonna hit some shoulders uh, yeah not sure not sure what uh, heads of the delt I'll be hitting. Possibly front, possibly side, possibly rear. Who knows? We'll see how I feel, but I'll definitely be starting off with front um, front dumbbell raises. Sorry, front delt targeting dumbbell raises. What the fuck's wrong with me? I'm half asleep, man. <laughs> Actually, this gym has one of the best. Uh, shoulder press, seated shoulder press machines that I've ever used, like it's really nice and smooth um, and yeah, it just feels really nice, like the angles from, from my shoulder width um, yeah, it's good, so I'll be using that first and I'll show you that but after the workout I'll be buying some more of my ready-made core nutrition meals, which um, I have to give credit to keeping me on track man, those things are amazing, they taste fucking good and Pretty much every meal is you know under 400 calories with at least 50 grams of protein in it so you can't go wrong with that um, I just try and stay away from the ones with uh, high fat because just to you know keep the overall calories down most of my fats I'm actually getting from peanut butter um, on rice cakes as a snack <laughs> And uh, yeah, they're, they're still tasting pretty good. I put some um, stevia and cinnamon and a little bit of shredded coconut on top and it's fucking nice, man. You guys should try it. Uh, what else? Yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna talk about. I'll, um, I'll see you guys in the gym and then afterwards when I got my uh, sups. And that'll be us. And then I'll be going home something else so enjoy the workout we're gonna go smash it just arrived here just finishing my coffee I can feel it hitting my heart rate's going up so let's go and fucking smash this shit oh what is up everybody welcome back we're back with another shoulder workout in the gym with Jake from Jake Does Fitness <laughs> and we're starting off with some shoulder warm-ups this is a absolute priority of mine on every single shoulder walk uh, workout um, you know I'd recommend it to everyone they're rotator cuff warm-ups you want to go really really light uh, and you know only do enough reps so it's like a slight burn it's not like a working set uh, and especially with these ones coming from the top, coming down, you really want to have a nice and solid joint, shoulder joint, and you know, rotate it. That's why they're called rotator cuff movements, like, as you can see um, how I'm doing. I see guys with like 7.5 kg or 10 kg dumbbells trying to do that movement, and I'm like, what the hell, man? They're just about to snap their fucking shoulder up. So then after that, I go straight into a nice light first set uh, on the seated shoulder press now this shoulder press is the one that I was talking about before um, I think the main reason why it's just really nice is the smooth cables for a start 
and also the the width of the handles. Uh, the one at Anytime Fitness is kind of, it's a lot more narrow and like when I use it, my elbows have to be at a really like unnatural um, sort of angle. So this one I much prefer and this is a second warm up set, I think about 15 reps. Um, and then we go into a working set and I, I switch up the seating arrangements at times. So this one I was feeling uh, obviously good when I was facing it. So the first set was done with 70 kgs, rep it out nice and slow. And I wanna make a point of, um, you know, I'd really like to show you my sets, the whole set because, and not speed it up at the end because um, all of my reps, every single one, down to the last one is exactly the same tempo. So those first three reps that you see of every set, every rep after that is exactly the same tempo. And I just wanted to uh, make a note of that. Um, so yeah, I was screwed after the first exercise, but then second exercise, we did another pressing movement, military press. Um, and today I was actually feeling it better behind the neck. And it's funny because you know, heaps of times I've told people it's bad to do that because it snaps your shit up. And even when I see people doing behind the neck press, like I'm like, fuck, man, that looks looks bad. But I don't know. Today I, it was like felt really solid, and yeah. So I just most of my sets on the military press were behind the neck, and I think this was one of my last ones. I was pretty gassed by this point, um, using 50 kgs, only getting like six reps. So called it a day on the pressing movements after this one and went straight on to some isolation exercises. First of all, being some rear delt flies on the pec deck. And I'll mix up my rear delt workouts between cables, uh, like Jay Cutler does, like on this pec deck here. I'll use dumbbells, um, all sorts of stuff. But today I used the pec deck, I did about four or five sets. So this was just one, um, one working set which was actually a drop set as well and then after this I went on to some side lateral work with some dumbbells some cables and I finished it off with a monster drop set which you're about to see triple drop set this was the last set and if I ever become a personal trainer this is exactly how I'm gonna train my clients if they want good delt progress so here we go. Away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. It will chase the night. Race all of these broken dreams in flight. And we'll fly.
some gains we got some gains brah <laughs> nah, we got 20 20 of these see this one for example I mean no I won't tell you that one it's got probably a few too many fats in it but this one beefing up balsamic beef cracks black pepper with a creamy sweet potato mash 60 grams of protein, 17 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fat, and it's delicious. We've got this one here, lean kangaroo sausages, red wine dew, caramelized onion with sweet potato mash, 46 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs, carbs 2 grams of fat. It's fucking awesome. And then, of course, we've also got a bag of quest bars 20 of those no sorry 12 of those and he gave me a free pre-workout this one I don't know if you guys have uh, seen it but apparently it's being take, taken off the shelves because it's got some oh, I don't know some ingredients probably got uh, amp citrate or some shit in it but yeah, as long as I can use it, I'll, I'll use it. I'm a pre-workout junkie. All right. So, shoulders are done. Don't know if you saw, but uh, yeah, feeling really good, feeling pumped, feeling wide. And uh, we're about to head off back home. Put these meals in the freezer. I'll see you there. What's up everyone? Friday afternoon here in Alice Springs. Beautiful, beautiful day. I thought why not um, sign off with some uh, fasted cardio just down the street. Um, it's not really fasted. I uh, trained earlier as you saw. Went and had one meal. Um, and now I'm feeling pretty hungry again, so it's really weird, like I, I'll only be able to get the motivation to do cardio if I'm feeling like I'm fasted, you know what I mean? Like, if first thing in the morning I've got motivation, boom, to go and do cardio. If I've been eating like all throughout the day, had my training session, blah, 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 I've gone, um, gone home after work and I just can't find the motivation, man. Because I, like, I'm a firm believer that Faster cardio is more effective. If, if only slightly, it is more effective. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way so you can see me. Um, <laughs> so, you know, today is actually out of the ordinary. I don't really do afternoon cardio sessions, but here we are doing this. We're getting it. We're getting it. Apologies, uh, I have to use my phone. My GoPro is flat. How's that, eh? You've spent all this money on a freaking camera and you're not even going to use it for your uh, vlogs. That's pretty dumb, isn't it? Either way, got some decisions to make. Uh, if you haven't yet, please go and check out my latest physique update vid, um, which was the previous video to this one. No, sorry, two previous videos, I think. And um, I've got some decisions to make. Tomorrow's six weeks out. Um, fuck no, actually is it? Six weeks or five weeks? Either way, I've got some decisions to make. It's either going to be INBA, NT, Physique Titles on the 27th of September or it's going to be the WBFF Worlds on the Gold Coast on the 18th of October, which is th exactly three weeks after. So I'm really not leaning either way. The thing that is that is sort of swaying me towards WBFF is the 
it's just the size, the sheer size of the showman. Um, the um, the sh sheer size of the show, the the uh, the exposure that you get, the um, the outfits that you wear. I mean, just as an event, the whole thing is just it's just on a, another scale. Um, and you pay for it. I mean, you fuck you. It's like 400 bucks to enter or some shit. So it better be fucking worth it. But I mean, I'm swaying that way. I couldn't tell you for sure. Finance-wise, doing the INBA one in Darwin, in the Northern Territory, which is kind of local, would be a lot cheaper. But if I'm only going to do this once, man, I want to go all out. So decisions are to be made. Don't know. Uh, what else can I say? I don't really know, man. I, all I can say is we're getting it. We're getting it. Slowly but surely. I'm definitely tightening up. Um, but, man, I, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm the leanest I've ever been. So, we're sailing uncharted territory now, which is really awesome. Waking up in the morning and actually seeing results, man. It's amazing and the only reason why I wasn't for so many months before is just because I wasn't accountable I wasn't accountable to my diet I wasn't accountable to anything I was fucking doing I just thought if I trained hard and fasted in the mornings I'd lose weight well no that's not how it fucking works either way I'm gonna leave you here now intermittent fasting does work if the overall calorie expenditure is less than your intake sorry is more than your intake and mine wasn't, so I was I was at a plateau for a good few months, and uh, we're finally broken through. So, thanks for joining me, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm just an average guy with above average ambitions, I'm trying to make something of this one short life we have to live. Boom. See you later.